Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity a skills integration challenge. Here we can see our addressing table and this addressing table is incomplete. We have to fill uh, the, these uh, blank uh, uh, cells. Before that, we will go through the scenario. As a network technician familiar with IPv4 and IPv6 addressing implementations, you are now ready to take an existing network infrastructure and apply your knowledge and skills to finalize the configuration. In this activity, the network administrator, administrator has already configured some commands on the routers. Do not erase or modify those configurations. Right. Your task is to complete the IPv4 and IPv6 addressing scheme, implement IPv4 and IPv6 addressing and verify connectivity. Now we will come to the requirements. Configure the initial settings on branch hyphen A and branch hyphen B, including the host name, banner, lines, and passwords. Use Cisco as the user or exit password and class as the privileged exit passwords. Encrypt all passwords. Right, so we will do this initial initial configuration on this uh, uh, devices branch A and branch B. First of all, we will do the initial configuration on the router branch A. Enable configure terminal. Here we are going to set the uh, host name as branch hyphen A. Right now, we will set the uh, password. So we have to go to line console 0. We are going to set the password as a Cisco and to login. Coming to line VTY 0 to 15, password Cisco, login. Now we will set the uh, banner, banner MOTD. We will give warning. Right now we are going to set a privileged exit passwords. So enable secret as class. And now we are going to encrypt all passwords using service password encryption. Now we will do it on a branch B router. Enable configure terminal. Now we are going to set the host name as branch hyphen B. Also, we will set the banner MOTD warning. Now we will set the password for the lines line console 0, password as Cisco, login. Now we will go to line VTY 0 to 15, password as Cisco, login. Now we will set the privileged exit password, enable secret as class. Also we will encrypt all passwords using service password encryption. Next is LAN A1 is using the subnet 172.20.26.0/23. Assign the next available subnet to LAN A2 for a maximum of 250 host. Coming to the topology, here we can see our uh, uh, LAN A1. Yes, here we can see that and the network address 172.20.16.0/23. So we are going to assign the network address for this uh, LAN A2. Here we can see this network supports maximum of 500 hosts and here we can see the prefix length is a slash 23 and the starting address is 16.0. So uh, it will go maximum uh, till 172.20.17.255 slash 23. So we can use the next uh, available subnet that is 172.20. 20.18.0 and we required maximum of 250 host 
so obviously uh, we, we know that uh, if the CIDR is last 24 we get total 2 to the power of 8 minus 2 that is 254 so we can use the slash 24 as the prefix length yes here, here we will mark the network address for the LAN A2 that is 172.20.18.0 24 right coming to the next LAN B1 is using the subnet 2001 colon db8 colon fade colon 00 ff double colon slash 64 as in the next available subnet to LAN B2 coming to the topology here we can see LAN B1 and its uh, uh, network address now we are going to assign uh, the next subnet uh, to this uh, LAN B2 here we can see uh, the IPv6 address uh, 2001 colon db8 colon fade colon 00 ff double colon slash 64 for the LAN B1. So we are going to use the next subnet for this LAN B2. So obviously we have to consider this hex text that is 00 ff. We have to go to the next address. So obviously uh, we know that it's a hexadecimal number. So f after f it goes to 0 again. So this f again again become 0 and this uh, 0 will become the next number that is 1 so we will get the IPv6 address so we will mark it here 2001 colon db8 colon fade colon 0 1 0 0 double colon slash 64 Coming to the next, uh, finish uh, documenting the addressing scheme in the addressing table using the following guidelines. Here we can see that assign the first IP address for LAN A1, LAN A2, LAN B1 and LAN B2 to the router interface. For the IPv4 networks, assign the last IPv4 address to the PCs. For the IPv6 networks, assign the 16th, uh, 16th IPv6 address to the PCs. Right. As per the first instruction, here we can see assign the first IP address for uh, all the LANs uh, to the router interface. So coming to the topology, here we can see that uh, the branch A router, here we can see the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Here we are going to assign the first IP address uh, from this network 172.20.16.1 and coming to this LAN A2 network, we are going to assign the IP address uh, 172.20.18.1 for this interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Right. Coming to branch B uh, for the network LAN B1, uh, here we can see the interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. We are going to assign the first IP address that is 2001 colon DB8 colon FADE colon 00 double f double colon one right and for the lan b2 uh, consider this interface gigabit ethernet zero slash one we are going to assign the ipv6 address the first ipv6 address from this uh, network address that is 2001 colon db8 colon fad colon zero one zero zero double colon one slash 64 here we can see our updated uh, addressing table uh, the routers branch A and branch B, uh, their interfaces and uh, its uh, IP addresses, IPv4 address and IPv6 address. Next is for the IPv4 networks, assign the last IPv4 address to the PCs. Well, uh, coming to the topology, you know, here we can see the PCs uh, for the IPv4, PC-A1 and PC-A2. Uh, coming to this network, uh, that is LAN uh, A1, here we can see the network address 172.20.16.0. Here the last address, I mean the broadcast address will be 172.20.17.255 as the CIDR is a slash 23. So here uh, for this PC, we can use the last usable IP address that is 172.20.17.254 and coming to LAN A2 uh, for this PC-A2 
here we can see the network address 172.20.18.0 slash 24 so the broadcast address obviously will be 18.255 so the last usable ip address will be 18.254 that address we are going to assign for this pc here we can see our updated addressing table for a pc a1 and pc a2 here is the address submit to mask and default gateway Next is for the IPv6 networks, assign the 16th IPv6 address to the PCs. Right, uh, coming to our topology, here we can see LAN B1. And here we can see the address, it's FAD colon 00 FF double colon slash 64. Here the first usable IPv6 address obviously is double colon 1. So here they mentioned the 16th address. We know that uh, double colon F is the 15th one according to decimal it is a 15. So when it comes to 16th the hexadecimal number is 10. So we have to assign the IP address for this PC hyphen B1 is 2001 colon DB8 colon FAD colon 00 double F double colon 10 64. And coming to this LAN B2. Uh, same uh, with the, this uh, IPv6 address that is 2001 colon db8 colon fad colon 01000 double colon 10 slash 64. Here we can see the addressing table and uh, the IPv6 address for the uh, device PC hyphen B1 and PC hyphen B2. Here is the address. Next is configure the routers addressing according to your documentation. Include an appropriate description for each router interface. Branch hyphen B uses FE80 double colon B as the link local address. Right, so this will be the default gateway for these PCs. So we will update in our addressing table. Yes, here we can see that. First of all, we will configure the router branch A. Password Cisco enable password class. Configure terminal. We will go to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and we will set the IP address. Here is the address. And the subnet to mask is 255.255.254.0 and we will give the no shut command. Now we will go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and we will set the IP address. Here is that. And the subnet to mask is 255.255.255.0. And we will give no shut command. Right. Now we will come to branch B. We will go to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and we will set the IPv6 address. Here is that. Also we will set IPv6 address FE80 double colon B as link local. We will give no shut command. Right. Now we will set uh, IPv6 address for the next uh, interface that is interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. IPv6 address. Here is the address. Also we will set link local IPv6 address FE80 double colon B as link local and no shut command. Coming to the topology, here we can see this interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2 and on uh, the router branch B uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2 uh, we did not set. So we have to set these two interfaces on these two routers and uh, here we can see uh, the address details in our addressing table. Coming to branch A we have to go to the interface gigabit Ethernet uh, 0 slash 2 and we have to give the IP address here is that and the submit to mask 255.255.255.252 .255 .255 .255 
and we have to give the no shot command now we will configure uh, this interface that is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 on the router branch b we have to go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 and ipv6 address where is that now we will set the uh, link local address ipv6 address fe 80 double colon b as a link local now we will give the no shut command right next is uh, configure pcs with addressing according to our documentation the dns server addresses uh, for ipv4 and ipv6 are shown in the topology right coming to the topology here we can see dns server ipv4 address and ipv6 address first of all we will configure uh, pc a1 desktop ip configuration here is our ip address and the subnet mask is 255.255.254.0 and the default gateway is 172.20.16.1 and we have to change the dns server here and here we can see that address It's 172.20.32.10. Now we will come to PC hyphen A2. Reduce the size. Coming to desktop, IP configuration, IP address, here it is. Submit to mask is 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway is 18.1 the dns server is 172.20.32.10 coming to pc hyphen b1 desktop ip configuration ipv6 address here is that and the prefix is 64 ipv6 gateway fe 80 double colon b and we have to give a ipv6 uh, a dns server address here it's a 2001 colon db8 colon fade colon 1000 double colon 10 Coming to the last PC, PC hyphen B2. Desktop IP configuration. Here is the IPv6 address and to prefix is 64. IPv6 gateway FE80 double colon B and to IPv6 DNS server 2001 colon DB8 colon f a d e colon one zero 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 double colon ten next is a verify connectivity between the ipv4 pcs and between the ipv6 pcs right so we will ping from pc hyphen a1 to pc hyphen a2 coming to pc hyphen a1 command prompt here we are going to give ping yes we are getting the replay now we will ping from this pc hyphen b1 to pc hyphen b2 coming to b1 command prompt ping the ip address of uh, pc b2 yes we are getting the replay next is verify the ipv4 pcs can access the web page at central.pka Verify the IPv6 PCs can access the web page at centralv6.pka. Right, we will verify that. Coming to the PC-A1, 
web browser here we are going to give the url central.pka yes welcome to central now we will try from pc a2 web browser central.pka yes we are getting the web page now we will try to access the web page from pc b1 web browser here the url is central v6.pka yes we are getting the web page coming to pc b2 web browser here is the url yes we are getting the web page well that's all in this Pika tracer activity skills integration challenge here we can see uh, our uh, Pika tracer activity completion status 75 out of 75 uh, friends uh, if you have any doubt uh, please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel stay tuned bye bye